Welcome. So, you want to know how to install the TF2 bot overhaul mod. Well, you've come to the right place. So, um, I've been getting requests to ha on how to install the bot overhaul mod. So, what you need to do is go to Game Banana and look up TF2 bot overhaul. I will leave the link in the description if you want to go get it. Uh, once you're on the page, scroll down and you'll have these files. Now before you download these, you're going to need these mods as well. Meta mod and source mod. Basically, these these basically keep the mod running. So, depending on what kind of um, OS you have, you, you have Windows, Linux, or Mac. I'm running Windows, so I'm going to click Windows. And then it should download right there. Then you want to go to source mod and do the same. Windows. You do not have to pay anything. Don't worry, this is just a donation page. You don't have to pay a single thing. But I do recommend you do um, donate. Once you have those installed, then you are going to go back to Game Banana and install part one and part two. Now, these are pretty big files, so it may take a while, depending on um, your hardware. Part one is a lot bigger than part two, so I will come back when it is done. So once that's done, you want to go and ahead and open these files right here. But overhaul one, but, but overhaul part two, mm source, and source mod. Now, once you have all these four files installed, you want to go to your TF2. Um, you want to go to your TF2 folder. Now, if you don't know how to get it, oh, teaser. Uh, if you don't know how to get to your custom folder, if you you want to go to your TF2 in Steam, right click TF2, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Once you're here, you want to click TF, and then you want to go to Source Mod and just drag these files in there, and it should and it should replace Add-ons and CFG. Now, what that does is that it adds missions to the game. Um, and I'll show you how that works when we get to the end of the game. And I'll be right back when this is done. All right, so when that is done, um, you want to go to MM Source. Is it, would you finish, please? Thank you. You want to go to MM Source and drag that in as well. Once that's done, you can close these and then go to Bot Overhaul Part 1. And then you just want to drag them into your custom folder. Now this downloads everything that's required. It downloads the scripting, the, the nav mesh for all the maps. Um, and it ba basically it, it makes it like it's casual. Once that is done, you can close that and then go to the final file, part two. Now, the part two files will again overhaul add-ons. You want to re click replace. And this is very important. Do you have these desktop shortcuts? Now, what I recommend doing is I recommend going to your TF2 folder, right clicking this, going to new and then folder and then let's say tf2 um, shortcuts now this is very important these two shortcuts now one is called multiplayer and one is called single player the difference is multiplayer is basically the normal game so like you can access casual and all the bots are completely normal they are the normal valve bots now single player includes the bot overhaul mod so it includes the hats the scripting the nav mesh, all that. Um, so you want to right click single player, go to properties, and then and then this will pop up. Now it should say start in C drive, program files, 86, Steam, Steam apps common, and then Team Fortress 2. For me, that is not where my Team Fortress 2 is located. You want to go back to where your TF2 is located, right here, and then you want to click this, control and C to copy. And then you want to go back here and replace this right here inside the um, the the little icons here, and you want to replace that where your Steam where your TF2 is located. Once that's done, you want to go back here as well, 
and you want to do the same right here. You want to replace this to where you are located. Now, if your TF2 is located in the C drive, you don't have to do anything. Now, you just want to replace up to TF2. You don't need to replace the Half-Life2.exe. Right, so once that's done, you click Apply and then OK. Now, now the mod is installed. Now, if you right click, if you double click this, the game will open. Right, so once you're in game, when you click, double click single player, this will pop up immediately. There's missions and then they'll start playing. Missions are their own little things, so you can view the missions and there's a bunch of unlockable missions. Um, but for now, we'll just go to single player. And then click get started. And core game, there's also core game modes, there's alternative game modes, and there's special events. These include every single map in the game attack, defense, taps the flag, control points, um, there's even King of the Hill, there's payload, and that includes every single map. There's even um, like arena, attack, defense on, on um, Dickert Keep. There's King of the Hill here, Probe, there's Man vs. Machine, and then there's Payload Race. Um, and then there's special events which include like Halloween maps and um, like Christmas maps and all that stuff. Basically special maps. Now when, uh, once you click, once you find which map you're going to use, I'm going to use MVM for, for an example. Let's, let's do Cold Town, and then you'll just click Start Match. You can click your difficulty from easy to expert. I recommend doing normal or, or hard. And then depending on which, how many bots you want, um, I wouldn't recommend doing an even number. I recommend leaving um, leaving the bots um, like saying, if you want to have 20 on like, like 10 on each team, I put 19 because that does include you as a player. So once you find the map you want, you just want to click start. Um, you just want to click start match. Once you're in game, it should say welcome to the TF2 bot overhaul mod. We'll ignore that. And then once you uh, go through, you just pick your class and then um, some bots should spawn right over here. And then as you notice, they all have hats. And so that means the mod is working. Now once you are ready, they should ready it up as well. Oh, um, I haven't tested this, so I guess not. You gonna speak? All right. Okay, that's no good. Um, so maybe it's not the greatest on MVM, but one. Um, but like, the time limit should run out at the bottom, and so MVM. Would you shut up, please? The. So once the time limit runs, once the time limit runs out, if they would shut up, please, the they should slowly uh, ready up. But because they do random voice lines. But once the time that runs out, the game should start as normal. Say goodbye to them now. Five, now, at first, the bots may not move. We'll see. Play ball. Will they move? No, so if they don't move, what you can do is. Oh shit! But yeah, if they don't move, you can do TF bot warp team to me, and then they'll, they'll and you have to activate this few cheats, and then you can do warp, bot warp team to me. Now they don't have any upgrades, um, but I don't think MVM is great for this mod, but they it does work. I recommend doing like cap the flag or. Um, or doing like control point. So this doesn't affect this. I don't know if this affects um like these kinds of bots. It seems like it does. Oh 
we'll just play one match of this. And Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna do well because they're out of already animal. Seems like they're all using melee, which is weird. Is that this spy has a shovel? Wow, he's and this that medic has an axe. The, the, okay, so yeah, um, MVM is not great for uh, this mod. It's more like more casual games. Oh, well, we just cheat a bit. <laughs> you, made a, you made a big mistake doing that, mate. <laughs> oh, it seems like there's a spy around. And there, oh, there he is. Oh, no, yeah, it's not. But yeah, as I said, uh, the bots aren't great for MDM, but it does work. But if you go into it like um, normal games like Capture the Flag or Payload or ca uh, Capture Points, uh, they should have their own custom names. They should use like randomized loaders and randomized weapons. I'm not sure what the other. I'm not sure what the other um, enemies are. There's like two heavies left, but I'm not sure where they are. Wait, are they back here or something? Oh, there they are. They're confused. All right, so yeah, this mod is not great for MVM because it does soft lock the game. The game, because these bots won't move because they're randomized. So I recommend just using capture points or anything like that. So yeah, that's how you get the mod installed. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.